guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be doing a what's in my bag. I'm going to be sharing with you what's in my Tory Burch Parker tote. Now, this is also going to be an update video because I bought this bag for my birthday six months ago in February, and it's now August. So I figured it would be nice to show you guys how this bag is holding up, what I think about it, if I still like it as much as I did when I bought it, and I'm also going to be sharing what's in my bag. So if you guys are interested in this video, for one, make sure you guys subscribe. Don't forget to like this video, and let's get right into it. So I'm just gonna give you guys a brief overview of this bag. This is the larger one. It has a front pocket up here and it's magnetic. I don't think I mentioned that in the bag. I mean, in the video. And then I'm gonna be sharing what's in here. This is um, a pretty big bag and I do put a lot in here. Now I'm a mom, I'm a manager. That's why I wanted this bag. So that way I can put a lot of my paperwork in here and my binders and if my and my computer if I need to. And then like I throw the baby stuff in here sometimes if I'm in a rush and I don't wanna switch bags. So let's get into it. First we're gonna start out with my bigger wallet. I do have two wallets. This is just one of the wallets over slit thing from Target. I've had this for years and honestly I probably need a new one because the gold is starting to wear a little bit but I like how it has the front pocket and then it has a bigger one. I keep most of my like insurance cards in this one and any of my extra cards that don't fit in my other wallet. Like a lot of my stuff that I don't use every day goes in this one and I just keep in here. Now I'm also doing this video because I need to clean out my bag. So this is perfect for this video. So then I have my Michael Kors wallet. This is a smaller wallet. Um, I use this mostly every day because I used to keep my Fobble on here, but this is starting to break. Like This thing is like on its last leg, but also I keep my, my license back here and all of my most used cards. I like using this one every day because I could just throw it in my baby bag. I just go back and forth with this wallet if I just want to run to the store real quick I just have to grab this one I also have my keys I have a Dodge and a Nissan I have a little notebook right here but I have this in here for like my to do stuff so I have a lot of stuff that I constantly like have to do and like I just write it in here and then once I do it I cross it off and this just keeps me somewhat organized I have my Victoria's Secret card in here my Ulta card it looks like my wallet opened up or maybe Nathan was in my bag and I don't know I also have my work keys I always have these everywhere these little block things these are the iPhone chargers I have pens more pens I have a Shea Moisture coupon this is um, I got this in a influencer box I use Shea Moisture for Aaliyah's hair and since back to school is coming up I'm definitely gonna need this coupon because I spend more on Aaliyah's hair products than mine um, it's like about $30 I spent on her hair like just on stuff but I do want to do a video like an updated video on her hair but she mostly does her hair now so I think it would be cool if Aaliyah gets to show you her hair but we'll see if she's up to it I have coupons this is for like back to school stuff more coupons these are like BJ coupons usually I have a little coupon thing and I don't know why it's not in this bag actually I think it's just in my car but I keep like a little Dollar Tree coupon book um just so I can throw all of my BJ's coupons because I have a family of five and we spend a lot of money in food. So very important. I have like direct TV offers in my bag, like mail, just from like throwing it in my bag. I have insurance cards, more business cards, stamps, appointment cards for Nathan, more insurance cards. So then I have perfume. This is the perfume that I mostly keep in my bag. This is the Elizabeth and James Nirvana Black. I love deep perfumes and this one is hands down one of my favorites. So Nirvana Black. I do also have the rollerball, but the rollerball to me does not smell the same as the perfume. So. That's why I still keep the perfume in here. Like, I feel like this doesn't last at all. I have two of these. Um, I also have my watches. I have my Kate Spade watch and also my Invicto Rose Gold watch. Um, I get annoyed with these at the end of the day. So normally I take them off and just throw them in my bag or I leave them in my kitchen and then throw them in my bag so that way I can take them upstairs. So... That's why that's in there. That's why I have two. Told you, I really need to clean out my bag. I have hair clips, you can never have too many of these. These ones have lasted a pretty long time. I have this one in a clear one somewhere, but these are like the last two out of a pack of five that I have. 
I have some change which needs to go in my change jar. I have my Best Damn Beauty lip mask. No words about that. I also have these bracelets. Some of them are from Pagoda. Some of them are like from a boutique that is no longer around here in South Jersey. Um, yeah, this black one. I was selling these like on offer up and I don't know I was selling them for five dollars so I just threw them in my bag um yeah that's that I have deposit slips more business cards more trash I have a bunch of hair in my bag so a little backstory my hair sheds so bad like you can see it all over my tan carpet you can see it like everywhere Bernard finds it in his boxers from like the dryer and stuff but it's everywhere in my store at work you could see it all in my cases like my hair just sheds so bad and it's actually in my bag I've never seen my hair in a bag before but I could see it that's one thing I do like about this bag it has a tan interior so it's not like a big black hole so I have this Lumi cushion did I already show this I'm taking that out I did also have this invaluable foundation in there um I actually had these two but this morning I took them out because I had to do my makeup um, lately I've been mixing the Infallible Pro Glow in 204 and the Infallible Total Cover in 302 I've been liking these two together because they kind of just balance each other out and one has like a warmer undertone and one has a neutral undertone I think it's this one has the neutral one this one is not the shade that I normally get I just bought it because it was the summer and it was a little bit darker but I feel like this has a lot of it's not warm I think it has more red in it it's weird I don't know so I'm just gonna share the lipsticks that I have in here I have Colourpop Avenue my favorite red lipstick ever I get so many compliments on this red lipstick it's like a deeper red and it has my phone is supposed to be on mute but it's broken my mute button yeah if you follow me on snapchat then you would know that my phone almost got washed away in the ocean one day um and there's like a bunch of sand stuck under my um like mute button so then I've been really into my mac lipsticks again Whirl is one of my faves, and then Velvet Teddy is just a nude. Then I have Beeper, which is an, another one of my favorite ColourPop lipsticks. I have my MAC eyelash curler. I also have a pair of tweezers, and I honestly don't know why. I think it's just one of those things that it was downstairs, and I threw in my bag so that way I can bring it upstairs. Does anyone else do that? So then, in the front of my bag, I have more business cards. I have an eyeglass script, I think for Leah, but she already got eyeglasses, so I don't know why I have that. I have a blood, um, a blood thing script or whatever because I don't have a thyroid so I always have to get my blood work done so then I have another lipstick in the front pocket this is kiss the king which was a limited edition lipstick it's a nude and it's a luster so it's very creamy I have Wawa receipts more business cards more bank receipts um I have 10 cents I have another block to a charger I have some checkbooks because I need them for daycare. I have this little good luck Irish blessing charm that I always keep in my bag or I keep in my car. So then I have some more lipsticks. I have this Shea Moisture Shea Butter Lip Balm. I got this in an influencer bag and I actually kind of like this. I should probably give that to Aaliyah because um, she always needs chapstick for like school to put in her book bag. So I'm just going to give that to her. This is the Falsies Push Up Angel Mascara, one of my favorite drugstore mascaras. Love this mascara. I have the NYX Liquid Suede. This is a really pretty color. And then I have an Ofra lip liner, and then I have the Kylie lip gloss in So Cute. And is that it? No. I have a NYX Butter Gloss Lip Gloss. This is in Creme Brulee. This is pretty much out. I have nothing left. But this is just like a good everyday lip or lip gloss I like to just throw this on if I'm just like I need something on my lips yeah I usually just use this and that's probably why I'm out of it and then I also have this from Kat Von D this is also something new from influencer I wear these to work and I just throw them in my bag when I'm in a rush that's also why I have so many lipsticks because every day I just throw a new lipstick in there depending on what I'm wearing so this one I have another one 
I'm surprised it's not in here. But I like the darker one better. One, what are these called again? Saint and Sinner, I believe. This one is Saint. This one is more fresh. It kind of reminds me of Paris Hilton's perfume back in the day. Y'all remember that pink bottle? Used to wear that faithfully every day, 2005, my freshman year of high school. Um, somewhat reminds me of that, but not as strong. I don't know. I'm not into perfumes like this one. I like Saint, or I like Sinner much better. Um, that one just reminds me of my third grade teacher for whatever reason. Not that it's really, not that that's a bad thing. Um... I just feel like they don't last as long. I don't know if it's just because it's a tester and it's a sample, but I can't, I don't smell it like I should. And yeah, and then I just have more change, a silica bag, and a back of an earring. So that's pretty much everything that I have in my bag. As far as like what I think of this bag, I do like this bag. I like the size of it. I like that I could just throw everything in there. This pocket is still very convenient. I love that it's magnetic. Um, the only thing is sometimes this, I've almost lost this several times. And also like I'm pretty hard on my bag. So just keep that in mind. I don't know if you can see this is starting to bow in. It's starting to like go inside and it's because I put heavy things in it and because of the straps because they're right here all like this starts to sink inwards because it's so heavy now this is me being very picky you can see parts of like the leather like I'm not sure how they put leather bags together but it looks like it's like puzzle pieces and when I have this sitting on like my see in my car i can see it in the light like the little pieces it looks like little puzzle pieces of leather like little strips that's just me being very picky and you can only really see it when the light is shining on it like i can barely see it right now it's actually dirty and i should probably clean it it has makeup on it but other than those two things like this bag is still holding up pretty good i just wish it kept its shape a little bit better like it's supposed to be kind of like the Celine bags where it like points out at the corners. The straps are still holding on very good. They're not starting to tear or anything. And that's like, I put my computer in here sometimes. I put so much stuff in this bag. Like I really wear the hell out of my bags and Bernard always like kind of comes at me for it. Like why would you ever want an expensive bag? He thinks that I'm crazy for wanting a Louis bag because I'm gonna beat that bag up. So yeah, overall this is still a good bag. This bag was $2.99 I believe and you can hear all the change rumbling in it. But yeah, if you need a good work bag and you need something durable, I do like it. Just keep in mind that it does kind of start to cave in a little bit depending on how heavy everything is. So that's everything that I have in my bag. If you want to see more videos then leave a comment below on what you guys think I should do next and I will see you guys in my next video.